Sow and reap. Sow means to plant, reap means to gather, scatter, and harvest. Galatians 7. Do not be conceived. God cannot be mocked. A person reaps, scatters, and gathers what he, the person, sows, plants. The one who sows plants to please the Spirit of God will reap, gather, scatter, a harvest in abundance in God's kingdom of eternal life. The one who sows plants to please the person's sinful nature in Galatians 5, 19, 21, sexual morality, idol to etc. lies, idol sins belong to the badness of the devil. From the nature will, will, reap, scatter, gather, and harvest of destruction, death, burn, hell forever. Therefore we have point unity, let us do good for unto God to all people, especially those who belong to the family of God, believers in Christ Jesus righteous, to those who please the Spirit of God and His truth and sows plants, reaps, scatters, and gathers harvest in abundance in God and sons King of eternal life and live forever with them. Amen. Amen. Hey, pardon me. Uh, this song is called, This Is Not A Real Eternal Home. This is not a real eternal home. sing on the riverfront and between 2 and 2.30. Hey, I'm Pastor Marshall Lowe's Fish Riverplex, Trackers and Brother Sister, everyone. It's the Lord's Supper Sunday, so have you ready. I can't do any more TikTok song videos on this on TikTok. 
Um, they blocked me out for some reason. So I'm having my son uh, set up Instagram on my side. Hope he'll get that done this week. And um, okay, now this week some is called sow and reap. Sow means to plant, reap means to gather, scatter, and harvest. Galatians seven. Excuse me, let me turn this down. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A person reaps, scatters, and gathers what he the person sows, plants. The one who sows plants to please the spirit of God. Will reap, gather, scatter goodness, a harvest of an, an abundance of good. In God's kingdom time, life, the one who sowed plants to please is the person's sin nature, sinful nature, Galatians 5 19, 21, sexual morality, idolatry, etc. Lies, idol sins belong to the badness of the devil. From the nature will reap, excuse me, scatter and gather, harvest of destruction, death, burn hell forever. Therefore, we have opportunity to let us do good for and through God to all people, especially those who belong to the family of God, believers of God's righteousness in God and Christ Jesus. To those who please the Spirit of God and His truth sows, plants, reaps, scatters goodness, gathers heart and abundance in God's kingdom of eternal life and Jesus Christ's kingdom of eternal life and live forever with them. Amen. Okay, now my two purpose for God Himself is just now coming together for Him. Amen. Okay, now don't let no one or thing take away our joy, happiness in God. Our love for Him the, that lives in us and fills us aside all we need satisfies us His, as His righteous, faithful people. We belong to Him like Him, godly, spiritual truth and righteous to serve and worship. And we'll live forever in God's kingdom of eternal life. They the things that people takes away are happiness and joy, loving God. They are emptiness inside, craving and lusting for more. Do not make you happy to love, belong to, and like them, worldly serving, worship them. I don't sin's lies. You don't all sin on ire. You end die forever in the world forever, but from them. Okay, this week's word is deity means the Creator, the Supreme Being. Okay, now living God, living for through Him, spiritual truth and righteousness, that's living, living forever in God's kingdom, eternal life. With God Himself, Amen. Okay, now this week's Bible verse is Psalm six seven one. May God be gracious to us, bless us, make His face shine upon us. Okay, now this week's Bible children's lesson, excuse me, is for everyone. It's a home and a house, and I had a lesson on this um, a while back, but this is for the newcomers. A home is where your heart is to love and live. A house is a building that sing. We are to love God. Our homes in God's kingdom. Who's done saying to serve, worship him and belong to, which are his possessions and treasures, riches and promise eternal life with him. Remember this. But if you love first your house, a building, and make it your home, the things that people possess, treasures, riches, that seem to serve and worship, idol sins, life, say and do the wrong ones, belong to you and die forever, as the Holy Bible teaches us. Amen now. Okay, now who or what you think about from the second you get up to set your bed is to who or what? You love first worship is where you end by and from them. Do those who think about God and the Son Jesus Christ from the second you get up to go to bed. To love first, that's internal love. To serve, worship God. To say His true words, His right choices. To obey by and from. Wise in God, relationship, fellowship with faithful best friend. Commit to, trust, believe, strong faith in Him. He's our strength, cure, power, let, 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 we're living, belong to. He did show powers dominant over us like him, godly clean and cleanness lives in us, spiritual, truthful, and righteous. His spirit life, food spirit lives in us, fills us I only happy and satisfy us and makes us happy, joy for his music, goodness lives in us. Connection with to see here and do righteously. One hair of God and his son's kingdom, everything, everything in the bun our home possessions, treasures, riches, and promise eternal life and live forever with them. But to those who think about themselves or things of people first to love. That's the dying love, serving worship them, idol sins, lies, they're all just sinners and liars. To say, deliver by it from the wrong ones, relationship, fellowship, best friends with, commit to, to trust, believe in them, the weakness, sicknesses, and control, powers dominant over, belong to, like them, worldly. Flesh is on one's desire, that's seen, seen, seen. Possession players craving less and for more, because they do not feel them inside or make them happy or feel, that's right, or don't make them happy because they don't feel them inside. You're unclean, the badness connection with, to see here and do the wrong ones that's seen. You're dying, the world's darkness lives in them. 
this is their home and they'll end up with nothing in the other words great dark said burn hell forever amen okay now it's time for the lord's supper i take mine every morning first corinthians 11 2, 26 for whenever you take this bread jesus body and drink the cup grape jesus, jesus blood you proclaim the lord jesus death on the wooden cross for our sin and lives we pray and give them to his cross they've died completely the cross open this world's idle sins lies dark death being worthy like them graves dust and our sin are the wrong choice childish ways dying the darkness enslaved in prison by and from Rose to his life, light in him, God like him. The right ways mature in him, living, a, living the light. We're set free, saved, sin no more, being reborn, new, purified, clean. We're a new creation now. He's our leader, goes for us to follow, love, and serve. Therefore, whenever you eat this bread, Jesus, body, drink, cup, grace, Jesus, Jesus, blood. In other way, you haven't prayed and let your sin all lives die on his cross. You should say and do them, you're against Christ. Jesus will be guilty of sin against Christ Jesus. So, and on this eternal judgment day, you and I in the world's great dark death and burn hell in the lake fire forever. The person that to examine the person of does not sin anymore before taking the bread. Jesus body and drink the cup of grape juice. Listen. Jesus blood without recognized body and blood of Christ. Jesus judgment on the person self. That's why many among you are weak and sick by from through your sin all the lies. No man have fallen asleep in the graves died until Christ Jesus comes again at the end of time. For his final judgment, that's right, faithful will be not guilty and inherit his new host sinner forever. But thou sins and lies will be guilty and burn the lake fire forever. For what I received from the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, he took the bread and broke it and said, Take eat, take eat, this is my body given to you, members of me. In the same way, he took the cup of grape juice said, Take drink, take drink, this is my blood given to you, members of me, the new covenant. Okay, now, but he has some prayer to him for thanks in silence. Okay, now let's pray the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, 9, 13, Luke 11, 2, 4. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those trespasses against us. Lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, pardon me. Like I said, I didn't record it all the way. And I got to hurry up. I got I started a pot roll so last night, so I can hurry up me and... Hopefully I'll have time to walk the cemetery and listen to my sermon. Otherwise I'll have to walk on the riverfronts when I'm singing between 2 and 2.30. Okay, Genesis 1 and 2. In the beginning there was darkness everywhere to God himself. He's the one that created the heavens and the earth and you and me here. Don't forget that. Amen, amen. You don't want to forget that. That's right. He brought me to Psalm 67. May God be gracious, bless us, make his face shine upon us. That your right way be known on the earth, your salvation among the nations. All the people praise God to love you, O oh God. May all the people praise God to love you. May the nation be glad to sing for joy. Galatians 5, 26, for the Spirit of God to love peace, joy for you, for all the people justly. And God, the nations of the earth, may the people praise God to live you, O oh God. May our peace, God to love you. Then the land will use harvest one through God, and God, our God will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear him, fear him. Remember that, amen, amen. Okay, we've been reading Psalm 89. We're on 9 through 13. You rule over the surge of the seas. When its waves mount up, you steal them. You crush Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies, all sins and lighters. The heavens are yours, and yours also is the earth. You formed the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Have her and sing for joy. Galatians 5 26. Free spirit, God's love, peace, joy at your name. At your name. Your arm is endured, his power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Okay. Next week I'll read 14 through 18. Okay, pardon me here. Okay, um, Psalm 116. I love the Lord, he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live the cords of death. I will send the liars and tangle me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I was overcome by trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, save me. Save me from them. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of companion. The Lord protects <coughs> the simple hearted when there is great need. He saves them, me. But I rest once more on my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, O Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, <clears throat> my feet from stumbling to sin all lies, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. 
I live therefore, I, excuse me, I believe therefore I said I am greatly afflicted. Excuse me. And in my dismay I said all people are liars, idols, and sinners. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I'll fill my vows of promise to the Lord and the press of all his righteous people. Precious the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints righteous. O oh Lord, truly I am your righteous and faithful servant. I am your faithful and righteous servant, the son child of your may servant. You have freed me from my chain, idle sins, lies. I will sacrifice thank offerings to you, will call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows promised to the Lord, the presence of all his righteous people, in the course of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise God's love of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. So I Okay, we start on Psalm 119, we're on 17 through 24. Excuse me. Do good to your righteous servant, and I will live. I will obey your two words. Open my eyes, and I may see. One of the things that your law, I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul consume how longing for your laws. At all times, you rebuke the arrogant all sins and liars who are accursed and who stray from your commands. Remove from me scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your righteous servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight, <clears throat> they are my counselor. Amen, amen. There. That's right. Remember this, don't ever forget this. I know I said this a lot. Isaiah 1.23 You rulers are rebels against God, companions of thieves. They love bribes and chase after gifts, money to love, serve, and worship, and do not defend the cause of the fathers or widows does not come before them. That's right, amen. Don't forget this as well, Isaiah 2.22. Stop trusting a person to love seven and worship with but the breath in their nostril. You ain't die forever buying from them. Yes, you will. We are to love seven and worship God and God only. Amen, amen. Okay, he brought me to Isaiah 8.1. Oh, excuse me, 8.11. The Lord spoke to me with his strong hand upon me. Warning me not to follow the wrong ways of this people. He said, do not call conspiracy. Everything that these people call conspiracy, do not fear what they fear. Do not dread it. The Lord Almighty is the one you are to guard as holy. He is the one you are to fear. He is the one you are to dread. And he will be a sanctuary for both house of Israel. He will be a stone that causes people to stumble. A rock that makes him fall. And for the people of Jerusalem, he will be a trap or a snare. Many of them will stumble. They will fall and be broken. They will be snared and captured. Bind up the testimony. Seal up the law among my righteous people. Disciples, excuse me. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob. I will put my trust in him, trust in him, trust in him. Here I am, the children that the Lord has given me. We are signs and symbols in Israel where I live for the Lord Almighty who dwells on Mount Zion, his new holy city. When people tell to you, consult medium spirits who whisper and mutter, should not a people can wire of their gods. They consult the dead, idol sins, lies on behalf of the living and God. To the law and to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this true word, they have no lie, like GHT of dawn. Distressed and hungry, they will roam through the land. When they are vanished, they will become enraged and looking upward will curse their king and their God. Then they will look toward the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearless gloom. And they will thrust into utter darkness, though, and die forever. Yes, they will. Amen, amen. Okay, pardon me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh wow, I had a long week again, so pardon me. I think I read this one. I'll read this one next week because it's pretty long. Okay, now remember this as well. I've said this a few times, but I'm going to say it again. Excuse me if I get to it here. In the pride of your heart, to love someone worship, you say you are a God. 
you're a person, person, person of the flesh, you wouldn't die forever as one. No, you're not. You're not a God. Only God is God. We are to love, serve, and worship God in heaven. Only. Amen, amen. Don't forget this as well. Daniel 6. His strong faith in God protected him from the lions. And the lion's den. It's right. Gotta have strong faith in God. And he will protect us. It's right. Amen, amen. In Jonah 1 and 2, God had giant fish to swallow up Jonah because he tried to run away from God and did not obey God for three days and three nights. He, and then he prayed to God for forgiveness. Then the giant fish spit him out into dry land. Remember, they can't run away from God or hide from him. It's impossible. He's everywhere spiritually. Amen, amen. Okay, hold on here. Just give me a lot of Bible verses. I'm trying to hurry here. Excuse me. Excuse me for a second here. Excuse me. He brought me to Malachi 3. See, see, I will send my messenger who will appear the right way before me. Then suddenly the Lord, Lord, you are seeking come his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can do the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears at the end of time when he comes again? He will be like a refiner's fire, lavender soap. He will sip as you find on purified silver. He will purify the Levites, priests, who live on the offerings given to the Lord. Do not learn the ways of the nation, all sins, lies, and God's kingdom is their inheritance. Refine them like gold and silver, then the Lord will have people, people who will bring offerings in righteousness and the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be accepted to the Lord as days gone by in the former years. So I will come near to you for judgment. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, sexual moral perjurers, against those who defraud, defraud laborers of the wages, who press the widows and the fathers, who pray of aliens of justice and do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. I, the Lord, do not change, so you, O descendants of Jacob's righteous, are not destroyed. Ever since the time of your forefathers, you have turned away from my decrees, have not kept them. Return to me, and I return to you, says the Lord Almighty, but you ask how we to return. Well, a person robbed God, and you'll rob me, you ask how we're robbing you. In teas and offerings, you're under curse, the whole nation of you, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole teas in the storeroom, if there may be food in my house, test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I with open the floodgates of heaven to pour out so much blessing that you will not have enough room for it. I will prevent prevent pests from dairy crops and vines in your fields will not cast fruit. Says the Lord Almighty, then all nations will see that you are blessed for you will be delight lamb, says the Lord Almighty. You have said our things against me, says the Lord, yet you ask how we what have we said against you? You have said, you have said it's futile to serve God. What did we gain by carrying out his requirements and going about like murmurs? Before the Lord Almighty, but now we call the arrogant blessed our sins and liars. Certainly even do our sins and liars prosper, and even those who challenge God escape. Then those who fear the Lord talked into each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A score of remembrance of God's righteousness was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name, his name. Remember this. They will be mine, says the Lord Almighty, in the days when I make up my treasure possession. I will spare them just as compassion men spares per son for the service of him. And you again will see the distinction between the righteous of God and the wicked all sins and lives between those who serve God and those who do not. Four. Malachi four. Sure the day is coming at the end of time it will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant, all sinners, and liars, and every evildoer will be stumbled in that day. It's come, will set them on fire, 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 says the Lord Almighty. Not where a bench will left to them. It is for you who revere my, my, my name. The sun and the righteousness will rise with healing wings. You will go out and leap like calves released from the stall. Then you will tremble down the wicked, all sinners, and liars. There will be ashes under your soles and your feet on the day when I do these things, says the Lord Almighty. Remember the laws of my faithful and righteous servant Moses, decrees and laws I gave him at Horeb. To our Israel, God's righteous see, see what I send the prophet Elijah for the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, the hearts of the children to their fathers, or else I 
will come and strike the land with the curse, curse, curse. Amen, amen. I remember this as well. Matthew 4, 4. Jesus said, A person does not live on bread alone, but in every true word that comes from the mouth of the Lord, born through him. That's right. Amen, amen. Remember this as well. Matthew 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there in your heart to love and worship will be also. Amen, amen. Our treasure to love and worship is God, and our treasure should be in heaven. That's right. Amen, amen. Remember this as well. I'm going to say this in for all. Matthew 7, 13, 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, death, hell, forever. Many will enter through it. But small is the gate, and there is the road that leads to life, and God's kingdom, eternal life, and only if you will find it, find it, find it. Don't you forget that. Amen, amen. Pardon me. Um, he brought me to this one. Excuse me. Matthew 12. Fifteen. Aware of this, Jesus withdrew from the place. They followed him, and he healed all the sick, warning them not to tell who he was. This was to feel what was spoken through the true prophet Isaiah. He is my faithful and righteous, whom, whom I have chosen, the one I love, and whom I delight. I will pour my spirit on the person, and the person will proclaim just to the nations. The person will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear the person voice and the streets of bruised reed the person will not break and this morning whip the person will not snuff out till the person leads justice to, to victory in the person's name the nation will put their hope in god amen amen now oh, you brought me that one okay he's giving me so many bible verses so i gotta hurry like i said i gotta hurry up and need and i gotta be on the riddle front excuse me for a second here Excuse me. Okay, let's go to this week's. Well, excuse me. First, let's read this. Second, three Corinthians. Second Corinthians six fourteen eighteen. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers, our sins and liars. For what do righteousness and God and wickedness, our sins and liars, have in common? In common, or fellowship? Or what fellowship can light and God have with darkness, all sins and liars? What harm is there between Christ and Baal, all sins and lies? What does the believer in God have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of God who lives in us, the living God. And God has said, I will live with, with and in them, and, and I will be with them and I will be their God. They will be my righteous people. Therefore come out from them, all sins and liars, and be separate from them says the Lord, touch no unclean thing a person, I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, righteous sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Don't forget that. And this week's Galatians 6, 16. So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify his our sinful nature. Wait a minute, excuse me. Is that this week's? Pardon me for a second here. Excuse me for a second here. Excuse me for a second. I think I wrote down the wrong one. Oh well. As long as you get this week's lesson, I don't know. I marked down the wrong one. But someone reaping. Excuse me. Excuse me for a second here. I don't know. I'll put down the wrong one. So pardon me. Anyway, as long as you get this week's lesson about sowing reaping. That's what I got wrote down, though. Pardon me. I think I wrote down the wrong Bible verse. I did it in a hurry, so pardon me. Yes, I did. I did. I wrote down the wrong one. Pardon me. I apologize. Excuse me. I did. I wrote down the wrong one. No, wait a minute. Six, seven. Okay, here we are. 
Okay, I got it now. It's part of me. Galatians 6, 7. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A person reaps, gathers what he, or plants what he sows, scatters. And the one who sows to please the sinful nature, which is sexual morality and algae from the nature, will reap destruction, death, hell forever. The one who sows plants to please the spirit, spirit of God, then the Spirit of God will reap, gather a harvest in abundance, turn life in God's kingdom. Let us become worried and doing good for unto God. For the proper time we will reap, gather in, in a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good from the God to our people, especially those who belong to the family of believers in God. Amen, amen. That's this week's. Until God's righteous. Amen, amen. Okay, pardon me. He wants me to read this one. He brought me this one, so pardon me. If it shuts off, I apologize. I didn't charge it all up, all the way up, as long as you get this week's lesson. James 4. Fights quarrels among you, don't they come from your desires? Want desires of the flesh to battle within you? You want something but don't get it. you kill and covet. You cannot have what you want, you quarrel and fight. Do you not have because you do not ask God when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend and get in your own flesh's pleasures. You adult or section more people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hate towards God? Anyone choose to be a friend of the world? Becomes an enemy of God, or do you think Scripture says without reason that the Spirit He caused to live in us envies intentionally? But He gives us grace. That is why Scripture says, God oppressed the proud, He gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves into God, resist the day of all sins, lies, and He will flee from you. Come near to God, and He He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, love God. You double-minded, greed, mourn, and well, change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother or sister or judges a person speaks against the law of God and judges it. When you judge the law of God, you are not keeping it, but sin judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, Christ Jesus, the one who is able to save in him which is eternal life and destroy battle of sins and lives when die forever. But you who are you to judge your neighbor anyone? Listen, you who say today and tomorrow we will go and do this and spend a year there, carry our business, make money, money, money in abundance. Why do you even know what happens tomorrow? What is your life? What is your life? Your life is like a mist that appears for a little while then vanishes and dies forever. Instead, you watch to see if it is the Lord's will for and through Him. We will live and do this and do that for and through God. As it is, you boast and brag to speak out all sins and lies. Uh, all such boasting is evil. All sins and lies. Anyone then who knows the good for and through God, the person not do, does do it. Sin, sin, sins. Remember that. Amen, amen. Okay, we're reading the book of Revelations at the end of time when Christ Jesus comes again. It's based on the end of time. 1 Revelations 3. To the church of Samaria's right, these are the two words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead by informal sins of lies. Wake up! Strengthen! What remains and is about to die, 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 for I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard, obey it, and repent, pray, and let your sins die. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know what time I will come to you. Yeah, you have a few people in Smith. You have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. The person who comes will be like them. Be dressed in white. I will never blot out the person's name from the book of life, but will acknowledge the person's name from my, before my father and his angels. The person who wasn't ill, the person here with the Spirit says to the churches, To the angel of Philadelphia, right? These are two words of him who is holy and true, holds the key of David where he opens, no one can shut. 
and what he says so no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength. Yet you have kept my two words and have, have not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogues, churches of Satan, which are the idolaters, sinners, and liars, who proclaim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars, idols, and sinners. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved love you. Since you have kept my commands to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test, test those who live on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown of life, crown of life. The person who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will the person leave it. I will write on him the person, the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the New Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on the person my new name. The person who has the only the person here with the Spirit says to the church, is to the angel of the church in Lakotia, right? These are two words of the Amen. The faithful and true witness of the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither caught or hold, cold or hot. I wish that you were either or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot or nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you can become rich and white clothes to wear so you can excuse me excuse me cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see those who I love excuse me those who I love I rebuke and disciple them so be honest and repent pray and let your sins die here I am I am standing at the door, knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with the person and the person with me. To the person who comes, I will give the right to sit with me, 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 on my, my, my throne. Just I will come and sit down with my Father God on his throne. The person who has the other person here with the Spirit says to the churches, remember that. Pardon me if it shuts off. I thought I charged it all the way. I think my battery's getting low already. So pardon me. Okay, now remember, number one, God himself, Jesus Christ comes first. They mean the most to love. As uh, before the things and people, that's an eternal love. We are in love with God himself. He's our real to first love. He's loves to many because he created love in the beginning. Remember this. I can love is beyond above all others. He had spouse, husband first. In Revelation 2, 4, Jeremiah 3, 14, <clears throat> Isaiah 54, 5, vows to and promise to serve. Master in Luke 16, 13, 15, to work late for, and boss first. King ruler us to, he's dominant over us. We all please God and His Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and bear their names and persecuted as a righteous people. They bless us. They are our faithful best friends. We have fellowship with them to trust, believe in them, and have strong faith when our strength, cure, and power to impress, devote, to life, depend on God, provides and takes care of us, the range of dream plants grow in it, we seek first. God's king is righteousness formed to him as his righteous people. And all things needed, needed is provided for us. We worship God, pray and bow down to him, he's an everlasting love, caring, faithful God. He never leaves or fakes us, he is our help in times of trouble, he hears and listens and answers our prayer. He's our protector, shield, shelter, and armor, put on the former God and Vision 6, 11, 13, from the devil, see all his lies comes at us all the time. So we say God's two words is right choice for and through him, to live for and through God, like him, godly. Spiritual truth and righteous, God's spirit, light and free spirit, in Galatians 5, 20, 26, lives in us, fills us aside. He's all when he satisfies his goodness, true and honesty makes us happy, joyful, his music lives in us, one and I create in God, connection with and in, to see, hear, and do righteously. We've learned God and the Son, Jesus Christ, two words and language and learning more and do the right choice way what cups tradition standards to obey by and from there are two words commands ten commandments the next 20 remember this and Deuteronomy 5 grace commands in mark 12 29 31 laws decrees precepts statutes promise and covenant we're wise in god yes we are we belong to he's in control or powers dominant over us we live a strange and agency to pass through just for a short time just visiting we pray and give him jesus christ our sin all the lives they've died completely on his cross We've crossed over from being 
This world's dark death, great death, being worldly like them. The low position of temporary life, dying, the dark, the wrong choice, childish ways, enslaved, imprisoned by him, from Rosa's life, lighten him, like him, godly, the high position, living the permanent life, life, the light, right choice, and mature in him. Set free, say, sin, no more, been reborn, and purified, cleansed, anew. Creation, he's our leader and guide, goes for us to follow our home, says should possess treasures and riches, promises in God, in abundance and everything, in the new in, in the kingdom and new holy sin, live forever with God and the Son Jesus Christ forever. Number two comes house, spouse, family, yourself. Number three, work forty five hours a week. Number four comes friends, my number one pardon, I'm trying to hurry. My number one person for my organization is to preach the gospel, God's truth and holy Bible, the kingdom of eternal life, help save and guide his righteous people home to his kingdom. Prepare Christ Jesus come again at the end of time with his new holy city and angels. Number two, sell people. Number three, sell make our community stay a better, safe place to live and protect our community's history. Number four, help find missing people instead of noise. Number five, survey life sports history. Number six, I can't do a TikTok song video anymore, so hopefully my oldest son will have an uh, Instagram up on the site soon. Number seven, Various pictures, number eight, fun and cute uh, videos, nine, Bible verse videos. I'll have one up on the Ten Commandments, the next 20, Deuteronomy 5, uh, this week. Hopefully my son will put it on there. Number ten, antiques for sale. I'll have more. More. Um, I'm working on an end table and a coffee table I'm redoing right now. I'm still working on them. Me and my oldest daughter are selling, fixing up, flipping antiques, and part of it sells. Go to my organization. Okay, now I've emailed the government for some issues. Okay, now I've doctored my neighbor to pick up trash, keep it a nice, peaceful one. Okay, truckers are watching my sermons on the Wi Fi. Okay, I'm an ordained pastor, so if you need my prayer services or have ideas from our community or state, you can email me. It's on this side. Okay, my three level apartment house, I've planted flowers in front and trimmed my trees. Okay, now for affordable health care, one health care dot gov to apply. Okay, you can donate Bibles. Go on lovepatch.org. We'll send them. Okay, thanks to our community going on WCIC, Moody's radio stations, and seaside events. Okay, and there's been stealing in people's yards in our community, so I'm trying to have an emergency community meeting. I've called the East Peoria High School, but the superintendent was out of the office Friday, so I've left a message with her secretary, so hopefully she'll get back with me. I'll call her again tomorrow. I'll keep you updated there and have a police officer uh, talk to everyone there. Okay, now I want to thank area business, restaurants, doctors, nurses, first responders, past organization, carriers, delivery, etc. But you do our community, the Reflex Gym for my mental, physical, and social health, and OSF there. I listen to my Christian music for my spiritual health. It's open Monday through Thursday, 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday, 5, se 5 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., pardon me, and Sunday close. I had a good workout cardio. In the regular pool yesterday since the kids pool and lazy rivers closed and the other pools will be closed as well i think next week check the chalkboard at the front door until may 20th to be clean and maintenance my oldest daughter and two-year-old grandson goes with me sometimes to swim they're on my membership i pay for and i'll sing on the pure's river front at the main entrance way it's between 60 80 degrees out between 2 and 2 30 p.m. weather permits there's no events or at the reception hall that's at the main entrance way I don't know until I get there this summer it'll be on the side when I'm there and I'll let you know sometimes to sing I'll be singing today between 2 and 2 30 hopefully there's nothing going on as far as I know there isn't okay now there's a free clothing store and food pantry for the poor and homeless in East Peoria and I call and that step is on Washington Street and Washington Court, small shopping center. It's open Monday to 2 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday until 6 p.m. Takes donations one bag at a time. Please, thanks, God bless if you donate. And food pantry is low to the rise on the food price, so please donate to a local food pantry. Thanks, God bless if you do donate. In Matthew 25, 35, 40, G said, I needed food or drink, and you fed me and gave me a drink. I need the clothes and you clothed me. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I was sick or in prison. You come and visit and care for me for at least one of these different meetings, Jesus. Okay, now I'll be in the 4th of July parade in West Peoria. Okay, now on this side, I preach and sing, pray and sing every week and try, try, try and write a new song, sorry about life, sports history. I can't do a TikTok song video. 
anymore so hopefully my oldest son will have instagram up this week a funny and cute video various pictures bible verses i do on the ten commandments this week and antiques for sale i'm working on an end table and coffee tables uh, and donations where to give a tenth of our money and thanks to the lord god and teas and offerings Deuteronomy 14 23 malachi 3 8, 9 or you'll rob me god and, and under his curse if you don't if you give a donation offering for my preaching on the site, thanks God bless you for it. And missing children, shelter noise are on the site. Okay, now us righteous, faithful, and spiritual, and holy, and truthful, and God are two and honestly building up, planting God's foundation for God's righteous tribe, Israelite disciples, children, for those who love God and His Son Jesus Christ first. They mean the most, comes first for ourselves, things, and people. That's an eternal love. We are in love with God. Agape loves above all others. Zeal, spouse, vows to promise first. Relationship with commit to serve. God's our master to work late for first boss. To please, honor, to press, to vote, to lie, to depend on, to worship. He's our rule to God. To pray and bow down to He's an everlasting love, caring, faithful God. Remember that He never leaves us, forsakes us. He hears and answers our prayers, our help in times of trouble. Shield, protect us, shelter, armor from the sin all the lies of the devil comes at us all the time so we say god's true words just right choice for through god godly the high position of permanent life to live for and through spiritual truth and righteous his spirit light and the food spirit lives in us fills us out all we need satisfied in his goodness cleanliness one unite complete in him connection with and see here and do righteously makes us happy and joy and his music lives in us we seek first god's kingdom and his righteousness as his righteous people, as he provides all, all things needed for us. Excuse me. <clears throat> We've learned his two words and learned more and do his right choices to be abiding from wise in God. God blesses us. Belong to his entire power, dominant over us to trust, believe in us, our strength, cure, and power, power, power. Our future hope and goal in life that's forever with him and his kingdom to life. Our leader and guide, we live as strangers and agents here just visiting. Our faithful best friend fellowship with will be completely built up, planted abundantly in God and His Son's kingdom. Our home and citizenship, possessions, treasures, riches, and promises us with God and His Son forever and in the new holy city. But to those who are tearing down and putting themselves, other people, and tribe, all sinners and liars, who love themselves and things, people first, the dying love, they mean the most comes first. Relationship with, commit to, serve, master, to worship, labor, Boss, ruler over, to please, honor, to impress, devote, to rely, depend on, to worship, all since life, say and do, for a by, to live for and by, obey by and from, belong to and control, powers, dominant over, to trust, believe, in and on the weakness, sicknesses, the badness, unwise, unclean, like them, worldly. Best friends, fellowship with, the low position of temporary life. Flesh is on one, serves the flesh, the same possessions and pleasures, craving less and for more, they do not. Satisfy them because they don't feel them inside the emptiness. They're unhappy dying. The world's darkest lives in them playing with fire, fires, kindles lit. Now, that's right. Childish ways, the wrong ones, digging their own graves. Connection with that saying to say and do. God's anger and curse upon them has no future and dies forever. They're hope and go. This world is their home and citizenship and they'll be completely torn down and uprooted. And end up with nothing in the world's darkest of death, grave dust, burning hell, like fire forever. Amen. Okay, now let's pray. By his closed eyes, fold your hands. Oh Lord, our one word to God. We worship, trust, believe in Him, our strength, cure, power. We have strong faith in Him and belong to our faithful, best friend and fellowship with our love. We are in love with you, God, wholeheartedly. Our spouse vows to and promise we serve our master. For you, God, is powerful, almighty, greater and above all things and people here including ourselves, this world, ever buying. It, it, it is darkness and death forever buying from them. But you, God, in heaven is light and life in you. That's eternal and forever, O oh Lord, our God. Protect us from them, this world that killed devours. Keep us safe and hear our prayer. O oh Lord, our God of heaven, be merciful to us. We know we've sinned and rebelled against you, God. But we pray and give them to your Son, Jesus Christ, cross our sins. They've died with him. We've crossed over from this world's dark to death, rose to his life, light in him. We're living now, a new creation. He's our leader and guide. He goes for us to follow. God, thank you for being our faithful best friend and providing for us and taking care of us. 
Thank you for everything, the sky, clouds, plants, air, everything you've created and made and provide for us. For our breath of life is in you. As we live in you, God, and you live in us, all we need and feel us inside. Our mindset is on you, God, as you and your righteousness, truth and kingdom in abundance forever. Help us keep us safe, God. Hear our prayers and answer us as your righteous people. We know your anger and curse is true and honestly upon this world's other sinners and liars everywhere. They devour kill, but we are your righteous people. We know you bless us and the end of all things the people is near for Christ Jesus, truth, kingdom, and eternal judgment day. And coming again at the end of time, come Lord Jesus, come. For our home belongs with you, God, and your son Jesus Christ, that's forever. And we say, your two words on learning more and do your right choice to be by and from God of heaven. And we pray for the homeless, poor, needy, with widows and orphans, for your righteous people who are persecuted. Lord God, let there be your peace everywhere. For the graduates, flood victims, Nebraska's tornadoes for the victims, Oklahoma's tornadoes killed at least two for their families, victims. Ukraine's war from Putin, their victims. Israel's war from Hamas for the victims. Those who are missing for their families, trafficking for the families, sick and in pain. Lonely shut-ins, pastors, first responders, rulers, voting, veterans, soldiers, teachers, students, restaurants, business workers, delivers, carers, lost, blind, deaf, lame, doctors, nurses, Lord God. For the published book I've written for you, that's for sale on the market. Songs I've written sing to you, preaching the gospel, the holy bible, God's truth, and kingdom of eternal life. An organization, help me get them out there in the media to help save and guide your righteous people home to your kingdom. And book I'm writing are in your hands in time, oh Lord God, for those going through something personal. Bob Donnell, Rob and Austin Don, Ron, Jesse, Mike, John, Heather, Donald, and his girlfriend, and daughters, and them. Lord God, we seek first your, your kingdom righteousness first as your righteous people. You provide all we need as we suffer and bear your name, God of heaven and Christ Jesus' name. And we are persecuted, but we know you bless us, God. In your name, Christ Jesus' name, we pray, man. Okay, now thanks and people from the Holy Bible still is the day's world. And the end of all things, people's near. So be ready, be prepared for Christ Jesus' truth, kingdom, and eternal judgment day and God's fire's kindles lit. Okay now may God's love, peace, joy, life, spirit and righteousness be in with you all and his light shine in and on you now and forever in this kingdom of eternal life. Living, living, living for through God. God like him spur the truth and righteous whose unseen is everything, everything forever in this kingdom of eternal life. But without God worry like them that seen is nothing and then dies forever by and for them. Okay now. Have a nice peaceful week. God loves and blesses you. Thank you. I'll sing another song. I'm in a hurry because I'll be on the riverfront between 2 and 2.30 and I got to eat first. So excuse me. And I had another long week. I had a lot of appointments again. And I'm not taking on any more uh, my organization on the site. I'm taking on enough. I can't keep up with everything I'm doing myself. Okay, now thanks and God bless and loves you. I'll try to sing another song. If it shuts off, I apologize. For some reason, I, it didn't record. Um, um, the battery didn't get completely. Um, okay, hold on. Pardon me. Excuse me.
words of my region, people to say to telephone by it is the truth and everlasting with God and his kingdom to life with him. That will never end with him. Okay, thank you. God bless and loves you. Have a nice and peaceful week. I gotta hurry up and eat. And uh, like I said, I got to sing between 2 and 2.30 on the uh, Peoria's River Finally, Thank you. God bless and loves you. Thank you.